Good morning, everybody. And welcome to participate in this streamed mass. And today, as we celebrate the feast of saints, Cosmos and Damien, two martyrs, they are considered to be twins. Um, we offer the mass for the repose of the soul of Leong Ak Thung. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's pause for a while and pray for God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God, Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of Man, Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of Mary, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May you be magnified, O Lord, by the revered memory of your saints, Cosmos and Damien, for with providence beyond words, you have conferred on them everlasting glory and on us your unfailing help. And we pray that you bless Leong Ak Thung with eternal rest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seemed in the view of the foolish to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are at peace. For if before men indeed yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The word of the Lord. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears will sing when they reap. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Those who sow in tears shall we reap rejoicing. Restore our for fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. 
Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the man who perseveres in temptation, for when he has been proved, he will receive the crown of life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. While they were all amazed at every deed of his, Jesus said to his disciples, Pay attention to what I'm telling you now. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they do not understand the saying. Its meaning was hidden from them so that they should not understand it. And they were afraid to ask him about this. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men who will crucify him. My dear sisters and brothers, when we go through the statement of Jesus that the Son of Man is to be handed over to men, we notice that this is actually an action taken by men, the chief priests and the elders and maybe the political powers who put him to death. And what we fail to notice is the desire of Jesus to die for us, his willingness to hand himself over to death freely. You know, when you go through the gospel according to Matthew, you would read that uh, he was handed over and handed over and handed over and it would go on and on and on how after being arrested in the garden, Jesus is handed over by the soldiers to the Sanhedrin who hand him over to Pilate, who hands him over to Herod. But in all this narrative, what we miss is Jesus' willingness to hand himself over to death. And so it's not just fate or his destiny that he should die. But it is a willingness of a father who so loved us that he gives his only son even to die for us on the cross. And it also brings out in a very eloquent way, in an eloquent way, the love that the son has for us. And Paul would capture that in his letter to the Philippians chapter 2, when he says, though Jesus was in the form of God, he did not count that a thing to be grasped, but would empty himself and become obedient, obedient even to death on a cross. And so, you know, very often I hear parents say to their children or to their grandchildren, I love you to the moon and back. Or I do hear couples say to each other, my love for you is undying, meaning it is always there. Or I love you to death. Now, those are things that God does 
and literally so. I love you to the earth and back. My love for you is undying, or in another sense, my love for you is dying for you. Or he would say, and it would be so perfect, I love you to death. In fact, that's what the cross is about. God telling us, I love you to death. And so as we go through this Eucharist, which is nothing but the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus, let us pray that appreciating the love that God has for us, you and I will be able to reciprocate it in some way. Otherwise, what the heck are we doing here on earth? You remember that famous question, that first catechism question, why did God make me to know and to love him and to serve him all the days of our life? Let's appreciate the love that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit have for us, and let's reciprocate that love today in some way. God's love for us is eternal. It is boundless. His love for us is undying. He loves us to death. Let your response be, we thank you, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord. For the gift of the Father who so loved us that he gave us his only son, we say, we thank you, O Lord. For the love of the Son for us, who so loved us that he would empty himself and become obedient obedient even to death on a cross, we say, we thank you, O Lord. For the love of the Spirit who resides in our heart and makes us call God Abba, Father, we say, we thank you, O Lord. For the blessing of the church, the body of Christ, that inspires us, that challenges us, and walks with us, we pray, we thank you, O Lord. For the gift of our nation, we pray, we thank you, O Lord. For the gift of our family and friends, we say, we thank you, O Lord. We now pause to pray for the repose of the soul of Leung Ak Thung. Eternal rest grant unto Leo Akthung, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon this person. May Leon rest in peace. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. By the mingling of this water and wine, may we share Christ's divinity who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin.
Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may be, may by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo a thankful hymn of praise. For even towards sins, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O Lord, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when, as once for his disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection and whom you have seated 
at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son in whom we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity so that together with Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ. We pause to pray for the members of our families. In particular for Leong Ak Thung. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Apostles and Martyrs, with Saints Cosmos and Damien, with Saint John Vianney, and all your Saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Another, a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to enter under your roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. A 
as you engage in spiritual communion, besides the intentions that you wish to pray for, I would urge you to pray for those that experience anxiety or depression. These are pandemic days. He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today being Saturday, let's pray the Memorare and pray for our nation. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go, announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful weekend and see you in church this weekend. When I say in church, in the parking lot for the in-person outdoor mass. All are welcome.